Taurus. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Please share with a friend if you think that they would enjoy my content. Greatly appreciate that. Now, Taurus, we did have an Instagram poll this week. Overwhelming response to try something new. Sorry, I got burnt sage all over. So I'm going to be working first in the Dreams of Gaia deck. And we're pulling out where you've been, where you are going, what's coming with you, what's being left behind, and what to beware of. being left behind? What is Taurus needing to leave behind on this journey? Interesting. And what to be aware of? jump in now to the Rider Waite Smith deck and clarify these messages. So here in your stability, we have the five of wands, or no, it's actually, actually it is the five of fire. It would be the five of wands in this deck, but this is the card in the upright, but it is coming up reversed. So I am going to clarify the message because the five of fire in reversed can be one of two things. It can be sort of releasing a need to defend, or it could be a fight really turning ugly, or an argument turning ugly. So let's see what's going on, please, Spirit. One card to clarify for Taurus, where they've been, what is this five of fire? What is this five of fire, Sarah? One card, please. One card, please. Oh my gosh, it will not give me one card. Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like in our past we may have really sort of let let opportunities pass us by here with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You know, it may be an inner conflict is what I'm actually feeling with this clarifier. I feel like this is you letting go, Taurus, of this inner conflict inside of you that's really caused you to miss out on opportunities. Now here, where you are going, we have the three of air, and that's coming out with the Five of Cups in reverse. So this is beautiful energy, Taurus. I just see you really releasing this major disappointment. This is a loss. This could be something as drastic as a, a death, 
mourning. This is, a, you know, I feel like a period of suffering that we're releasing. Where we're going is we're just, you know, I feel like we have a plan. We're really researching and learning here with the three of air. And now this is a very different card than the three of swords, which would be its counterpart in this deck. Um, and I really do love, I love that, but I always like to still sort of think of the three of swords here. Um, you know, it's almost like, you know, I feel like we're reading almost reading someone's story here or reading our own story it's all the same but it's almost just dealing with this disappointment possibly a heartbreak with the three of air just has sort of put you on this path of you know seeking a higher understanding here one card please here just So now, what's coming with us? So we have these beautiful, fiery twins here. And this is the two of fire. So it's being clarified here with the king of swords. So I do feel like, you know, the two of fire is a card of partnership. There is a lot of passion within this card. And it's being paired here with the king of swords, which is a lot of logic. You know, this is someone who, you know, he just has low tolerance for foolishness. Um... So it's an interesting energy to be coming out together, but I really do feel like by owning your passion, by potentially a partnership here, a very passionate partnership, you are really able to step into your integrity. You're really aligning your, your actions with logical thought here. Now, what's we're leaving behind here is the Ten of Water, which is you know, sort of with the Five of Swords. I just feel like... Um, You know, it's funny, I feel like for some of our Taurus folk out there, we're sort of elevating, because the king doesn't have a gender. This could be a, um, any gender with the king. Um, but I just feel like we've really, um, we've really leveled up here to this place of integrity. Because I feel like, you know, sometimes logic can be pretty cruel and here with the five of swords you can see the battlefield after the defeat you see this perceived victor with a little smug look on his face um and i really feel like you're releasing that energy you're releasing this energy of feeling like you always have to control your emotions or that you you know, have to win. I feel like you are, you know, moving into this part of your journey is more fiery, more passionate. Um, you know, you're not trying to, because with this card, this is a very beautiful and lovely card and certainly is not negative by any means, but it is coming up as what you are releasing. So you just sort of see this woman who's able to perfectly sort of balance the, the supernatural world and the physical realm. 
she doesn't even need to see because she's divinely guided. However, we're leaving this behind and, and honestly what I feel like we're leaving behind here is this sense of completion that we may have had. We may have just had this, you know, sort of stance of like, well, this is just how it is. You know, I have to be in control. I have to control my emotions and not express them or, you know, only express them at certain times. And I feel like we're going to be a little bit more explosive because we've really leveled up and we know that we are in integrity here. And I do feel like for some of us, we may be in a partnership that's really feeling good. Definitely doesn't have to be romantic. It could be, but I feel like it's bigger than that. Even if it is romantic, I feel like this is like a project. This is something that you're very passionate about. And you know, so I just feel like because you are, you have sort of evolved and you know that you're in your integrity. So now what to be aware of here is faith in reverse. So I feel like it's being clarified here with the Ten of Swords. And I just always like to point out with this card, you know, it only does take one sword to kill somebody. So this is a bit blown out of proportion. Your feelings are certainly valid. If this is how you're feeling, you deserve to feel and be seen and all of those things. However, you know, it's it's probably not, you know, I don't want to, <laughs> I'm trying to word myself carefully because I don't want to ever say that somebody's pain isn't valid or, but it, you're probably perceiving things as much worse than they are. You know, this is sort of that overwhelming feeling. This is all of the negative thoughts, all of the lies you've been told about yourself, every hurtful word, and it's stuck in your back. And this is something to be aware of because when we have all of these collected wounds, it, it can knock us off of our path. It can cause us, I'm sorry, baby. It can cause us to lose faith and lose sight of our goal. And we definitely don't want to do this, Taurus, because I do have a 22 coming at you from Spirit. So I feel like we are very aligned here. We have card 22. She feels. She knows. And I really love this energy. And I do feel like with the Ten of Water coming out for you, you do feel and you do have this connection to your higher self. And I feel like we're really going to be exposing that. I feel like the more we learn, because we're really stepping into a time of learning and expansion here and creativity and it's really, really beautiful. Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If you appreciate this video, I would greatly appreciate a like and a comment. It actually means the world to me. Taurus, I hope you have a wonderful week. I'm going to go ahead and take a photo of this spread so it will be on my Instagram at some point today. Taurus, I love you. Take care.